Hello students. Today I am going to start a new subject thermodynamics. So let's start with the introduction of thermodynamics. Thermodynamics is comes from the Greek word therm. Thermodynamic is basically the combination of two words therm plus dynamics. It made if we combine these two words therm plus dynamic it made thermodynamics the meaning of therm is heat and the meaning of dynamics is force so we can say uh, the combination of heat and the forces is known as the thermodynamics uh, the common or the basic definition here i am going to tell you the definition of thermodynamics is uh, thermodynamics is a branch of physics which deal with the interrelationships and interconversion of energy and its different form and the behavior of macroscopic system in terms of certain basic quantities such as pressure and temperature and etc uh, or we can also say uh, that the thermodynamics uh, is a study of heat and the heat related activity and heat related energies. Uh, thermodynamic is, is related to physics but we generally consider thermodynamics in chemistry also and it is generally deal with the temperature and heat and the energy and the transformation of energy into work and it is basically associated with the heat engine and uh, we can say uh, or we will consider there is no field in physics there is no field in chemistry or in biological science which is not even influenced by the thermodynamics there are some very common application of thermodynamics like a refrigerator, pressure cooker, car, coffee maker, uh, different type of automobiles, all type of automobiles, coffee maker, uh, electronics devices like phone, television, etc. Uh, the basic concept of uh, thermodynamics is just getting power from the heat. If we are getting power from the heat, that is the concept of thermodynamics. And uh, the scope of thermodynamic is not only restricted in engineering field, but it is probably encountered in our daily life also. Uh, thermodynamic, we can say, uh, it describes the basic laws governing the occurrence of physical processes which is associated with the transfer of uh, transformation of energy and it is also uh, uh and uh, it uh, it and also it established the relationship between the different physical properties which are being affected by the processes different type of processes so we can say thermodynamic is based on the nature uh, the laws of nature which is formed by our observation different type of experiences and also uh, the experience or the experiments in lab which frame the base work of thermodynamics in thermodynamics there are two views there are two views of thermodynamics by which we can study the behavior of different type of matters uh, the first view is macroscopic view and second another view is microscopic view we can say uh, this, these are the levels also the, the macroscopic level and the microscopic level uh, the first macroscopic view or the macroscopic level is uh, in macroscopic level uh, we, uh, there are certain quantities of matter is generally considered without considering the molecular level. This is the, the this is the macroscopic level. But in microscopic level, uh, generally we approach a matter uh, which is composed of molecule. A matter composed of molecule is considered here. Matter composed of molecule is considered in microscopic view or microscopic level. Next, very common or very important term of thermodynamic is thermodynamic system. Thermodynamic system is generally defined as the quantity of matter in space. A definite quantity of matter in space is called thermodynamic system. Here, uh, this diagram is showing the uh, system. Here, we are considering a closed or the definite quantity of matter. This is showing the definite quantity of matter in the space. This is called the system. 
and the area outside the system is called surrounding this is the a definite quantity is system and the outside the system the area is called surrounding and the system and surrounding is separated by the boundary this is the boundary between the system and surrounding the boundary is separating the system and surrounding if there is no boundary or the system is surrounding combine then it makes the universe and this boundary can be or may be fixed or moving type there are basically three types of system types of systems or the thermodynamic uh, types of thermodynamic system those systems are closed system open system and isolated uh, isolated system these three system we have to discuss the first system is closed system this diagram is showing the closed system uh, system is uh, same uh, the certain quantity of matter a closed quantity of matter and in closed system Uh, generally if there is no transfer of mass from the system uh, to surrounding and vice versa or we can say no mass transfer across the boundary that is uh, that type of system is called closed system here in this diagram if we are considering this is the closed boundary of the system on this is certain quantity of matter of closed system and uh, this is the boundary and this is the surrounding the surrounding uh, uh, and the system is separated by the boundary and there is no mass transfer here it is clearly shown no mass transfer between the system and surrounding here if we are considering m is the mass so the mass is the mass transfer is zero in this closed system but uh, there may be energy transfer is possible in or out to the system here mass transfer is zero but energy transfer energy can in and energy can out in the closed system so we can define where the mass transfer is zero but uh, energy can uh, transfer uh, from surrounding to system and that uh, that type of system is called the closed system another system is open system <clears throat> open system we can define the mass can uh, transfer from the system and mass can enter into the system from surrounding through boundary and there is also the energy transfer into and out of the system is possible here this is showing the open system as i said the mass transfer from the system to surrounding and from surrounding to system is possible so here this is the open system and the mass can transfer from surrounding to system and it is uh, can also transfer from system to surrounding and there is also energy transfer is possible energy can enter into the system and it can out from the system to surrounding through boundary this is the open system the example of open system is air compressor where air enter at low pressure and out at high pressure and there is also energy transfer across the system boundary so we can say air compressor is the perfect example of open system uh third type of system is isolated system here isolated system is defined as when there is no interaction between the system and surrounding neither mass nor energy can transfer from the system or to the system here this is the iso this diagram is showing the isolated system here Ne neither mass can transfer from surrounding to system or su uh, system to surrounding or uh, energy can transfer from system uh, surrounding to system or system to surrounding this is this type of system is called the isolated system so we can say the isolated system is the closed system with no energy thanks for watching the video and subscribe the channel for more lectures